Welcome to Guncraft 76. I'm Rob G. Ladies and gentlemen, Guncrafters all shapes and sizes, I'm proud to present to you our first manufacturer review, AMI Defense. I contacted AMI Defense a while back because I fell in love with their straight trigger I had installed on my AR-15 and AR-10, shown on a prior video if you would have caught that. I told them that I really enjoyed their straight trigger design and they and asked if if they could send me products for review. Tom Owens replied to my email and informed me that they would send out various products for review. So today we'll be going over who is AMI Defense and why they should be on your radar. This is going to be a four part series as I want them to I want to give each product their respect and their due, digil due diligence. So who is AMI, AMI Defense? AMI Defense is an American manufacturing company whose parent company is Aero Metals. They've been manufacturing aerospace quality investment castings since 1961. They're located in La Porte, Indiana, with a 175,000 square, uh, square foot facility dedicated to aerospace quality investment castings. Everything is done in house. They have mold making experts, foundry, and metallurgical lab to formulate unique mixes of metals, which keeps their entire casting process under their control. AMI Defense performs non destructive testing, or NDT for short, on site, which provides quality casting products. So, what do I mean by investment casting? According to Google, investment casting, also known as precision casting or lost wax casting, is a man manufacturing process in which a wax pattern is used to shape a disposable ceramic mold. Investment casting is highly versatile because you can combine multiple wax patterns to create one unique mold. You can configure parts you could not make with machine or tools, making it worthwhile alternative to weld mints. Dimensional precision and smooth finishes are one of the benefits of this casting method. AMI's goal is to provide a firearm enthusiast with aerospace quality products they can be proud of and depend on. They manufacture 1911 frames, AR triggers, and springs, hammers, slides, and so much more. The products that I'll be reviewing are the straight trigger with a three to three and a half pound trigger pull, standard mil spec trigger with a six to six and a half pound trigger pull, their titanium castle nut and bolt catch, and of course their armor's wrench. I'm pretty excited on testing these products so stick around and be on the lookout for those upcoming product reviews. Like always if you'd like the channel and the content we're bringing you please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.